about making this event very possible. Uh, Honorable Maria Van Bukino, uh, Federal Member of Parliament for CAO, and Mr. Michael Wilson, a representative from CSL, uh, the University of Melbourne for giving us this event, uh, the representative from the Zambia High Commissioner's Office, Mr. Morgan Mosa, representatives from the Australian Red Cross Blood Services, uh, representatives from the Novartis Australia, distinguished panel of speakers, and uh, the ASCA team, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Agnes. I'm the founder and the executive uh, director of Australian Super Cell Advocacy. Um, and I'm a mother of four. That's my family, um, my husband and my kids. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the Warrunga Golders past and present who are the traditional custodians of the land on which the road children stand. Uh, it's my pleasure to be standing here today as we finally officiate our association. Uh, I would like to extend um, my appreciation again to CSL who have made it possible for my team and I to hold this event today. Um, firstly, I would like to give, um, to begin by giving a history of why we started raising awareness about sickle cell disease. So my story started in June 2008. That's me, when I was uh, pregnant with my, my daughter, Mapalo. Um, I was in hospital and I became very unwell with a known disease. For two months, I was <coughs> admitted in the King Edward Hospital for Women with symptoms similar to a sickle cell crisis. Uh, the symptoms consisted of joint pains, painful skin, sore throat, constant headache, I was jaundice, and my HP kept uh, dropping. I spent two weeks in isolation prior to getting a diagnosis of what they call Steele's disease. Adult Steele's disease is uh, defined as a rare type of inflammatory arthritis that features fevers, rash, and joint pain. Whilst in ho I was in hospital, after numerous blood tests, the doctors discovered that I had the sickle cell trait. However, the hospital did not take a, uh, take a step further to test my husband to determine uh, the possibility of unborn child of developing the sickle cell disease. Follow, following the diagnosis, I was discharged on a very high dose of pregnisoline, um, along with uh, multiple vitamins. Our daughter, Mapalo, was born a healthy child. It was a healthy baby passing all initial tests at birth except that the doctors did not tell us to take our daughter back to hospital after a few months to check if she had the sickle cell disease. We didn't know that our baby had sickle cell disease until it manifested about 14 months old. Her diagnosis was, was only picked up um, when she had a second severe pneumonia, um, which made her second lung, uh, made her lung collapse requiring surgery for the following year at about 26 months. So after my palo's diagnosis, um, we were sort of lost as a family, which prompted me um, to go and study um, at the University of Sydney. I went and did nursing. I changed my career, my career from business and did nursing uh, so that I can just find out what sickle cell was and to understand the numerous hospital visits that we started doing after my palo's diagnosis. So with Mapalo's diagnosis, she's been cared for by different teams of hospitals and uh, doctors. Um, in Perth, in Sydney, uh, and until recently here at the Royal Children's Hospital by Dr. Anthony Greenway. Um, Mapalo has gone through almost all the sickle cell disease management regimes, and until recently, she was requiring four weekly red cell exchange treatment. And thank you to the Australian Blood Services for the gift of life, and thank you for the hematology team here at the Royal Children's and other departments. Um, so, with knowing that you had the disease, we, are, we sort of didn't know what to expect. And the only way I could cope was for me to read and read and read. And that's uh, me and my husband, we uh, so sort of prompted ourselves to reading and we opened the Facebook page on 26 uh, April 2014, five and a half years after our daughter was diagnosed. So together with other mothers, I approached other mothers, we started a sickle cell page in October 2008 last year, together with other parents, um, friends and clinicians. The Advocacy Association, Australian Sickle Cell Advocacy was registered, and uh, I stand here today as we officially launched this association.